My name is Richard Garrick, but most people call me Dickie. I am a 2016 DeSales graduate with a bachelor degree in film. When I think about DeSales, the first thing that comes to my mind is home, because that's really what it was for four years. It taught me a lot about who I was and what I wanted from life and everything I know about film. All the connections I made, everything was, was due to there. When I actually first got to DeSales, I was a computer science major. I saw all these students doing these like fun, amazing, fascinating like pieces of work in film and I was like, I want to be part of that. So I ended up switching to that major and that was probably the greatest decision I ever made. I'm the lead youth producer here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network and we are the biggest public access station in the United States. My primary job is to produce content for the station with my interns. Typically I have about eight interns per semester and we make projects ranging from documentaries, shorts, PSAs, and anything you can think of. I ended up getting my first job after graduation pretty quickly. I think I was the second person in the class to get in the field, probably something like that. That's because DeSales gave me such a, a, a great foundation for what I was going to learn and do in this industry, but it also taught me that I need to put in what I want to get out. What I mean by that is DeSales will give you all this general knowledge that you'll need to know, but if you want to know anything else, any specific things that you want to learn, it's going to teach you how to do that, but it's also going to tell you this is what you need to do to take the next step to become better at this. And honestly, as a freshman, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was just like, I'm going to make movies, great. But by senior year, I ended up being asked to be the director of photography on like 12 films. Being able to show people what I could do and what I accomplished in school was the real reason that I was able to get a job. My advice for anyone who's looking for a film school is simply to see how quickly you can touch the equipment. It's really important to know what they have and know what you have access to because I can tell you in a heartbeat right now, working and living in New York City, if I had to choose a school to go to again, I would have chose to sales in a heartbeat. Even if you are not technically driven, even if you aren't really about the whole technology end of it, you want to be a writer, you want to direct, whatever it is, realize that if there's equipment around and there's things to literally play with, people are always going to be using that stuff to create, which means if people are making things to create, you're going to have more opportunities to get experience. Whether you're creating your own things or helping other people create things, the amount of experience you're going to get is just in insane and compared to a lot of other film schools nothing against them but for me that was a huge thing